Okay, hello everyone. My name is Zhang. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, my research instrument and the scalar mixing process near the turbulent, low turbulent interface in compressible boundary layer. So this is the outline of my presentation. Introduction, computational method and the results. Turbulent, low turbulent interface. Instrument and the scalar mixing process near the TNTI conclusion. Oh, this is a picture of the turbulent boundary layer. Uh, the boundary layer has been uh, discussed uh, for uh, many years, and uh, most of the research are uh, focused on the uh, near origin, but uh, in the intermittent region where the turbulent and the low turbulent flow coexist. Uh, is uh, still lack of information. And recent uh, the research show there exists uh, a thin layer which separates the turbulent and the low turbulent fluids in the intermittent region. Uh, it's called as a turbulent low turbulent interface. It's also right like TNTI. So it's easy to know that uh, if those uh, low turbulence flow pass through this TNTI, it become a uh, turbulent flow and uh, related to the spatial turbulent development. So we can say that uh, uh, this uh, interface is uh, uh, important for the exchange uh, of substance energy and heat transports between turbulent and low turbulent flow. So this the interface has been studied a lot in the free uh, shear flow. For example, the, uh, in the jet flow and uh, in the mixing layer. But uh, this interface in the bound, uh, turbulent boundary layer has been hardly discussed. And the compressibility effect uh, is lack of information. For the object, uh, objective in this presentation, so at first we want to examine the characteristic of this TNTI in the turbulent boundary layer and show the enjoyment and the scale mixing process near the TNTI. Okay, so before I talk about my research, I would like to introduce the structure of turbulent, low turbulent interface. As shown in this figure, this is the uh, TNTI layer and the outer ED of this layer is called the in-rotation boundary. Uh, which is detected by a uh, voltage iso surface in uh, this study. And this layer contains two layers, uh, viscosity super layer, uh, which is dominated by viscosity, uh, and another one is a turbulent sub layer. So uh, in my uh, start, uh, in my numeric summation, the 3D compressible NS equation and scalar transport equation is uh, solved. And uh, the scheme uh, for the uh, computation uh, is shown here. This is the initial condition. The wall is moved with a constant velocity, uh, UW, and uh, the velocity is zero in the free shear flow. For trigger the turbulent uh, uh, transition, the velocity fragmentation is at neither the uh, wall. And for the boundary condition, the purity boundary condition is used uh, for the stream-wise and span-wise direction. Uh, for the normal uh, or normal direction, uh, this is the wall. And uh, this uh, boundary uses the uh, low effect uh, NSBCB uh, condition with a spongier layer. So. In this study, we uh, calculate, uh, we perform the two cases with different mass number, uh, 0 0.8 and 1.6. The computational domain and the grid point uh, is uh, here. The computational domain here is uh, decided by the boundary layer thickness in the end of the simulation. And uh, the resolution of the, uh, the computation at the wall is showing this form. Uh, by this, we can ensure that uh, the grid is uh, enough fan in the near wall. But for study the turbulent, low turbulent interface, it's also important uh, to ensure that uh, the resolution is enough uh, in this region. So in this study, we uh, limited uh, the resolution is around uh, 1.5 uh, column golf 
uh, in this study. And the column golf scale used here is the column golf scale in the torrent core. So this, this is the like, visualization of the turbulent boundary layer uh, development. We can see that uh, the boundary layer is developed from the laminar to the turbulent flow. So the stream, uh, the mean stream-wise velocity and stream-wise velocity RM uh, is showed here. Uh, for the mean stream-wise velocity, uh, it's uh, uh, agree well with the theoretical loss. And the stream-wise velocity uh, is compared with uh, experimental data and uh, the data in other direct numeric summation. So, okay, this is the in rotation load boundary uh, layer, which is the out ED of the uh, turbulent, low turbulent interface layer. Uh, it uh, validated by um, our tasty ISO surface, as in this figure. And the color uh, in this interface is the dilatation. Uh, the minus and plus uh, volume of the dilatation refers to the fluid expansion and the compression here. So from the figure, we see that uh, the fluid uh, compression and uh, expansions are both exist uh, on the interface. And uh, the uh, structures with different uh, uh, length scales also exist on the interface. And here I showed uh, uh, some results. And this result, uh, this is, uh, I have performed uh, DNS before, uh, before this is uh, before now, and uh, in this study, we didn't consider the resolution of the turbulent low turbulent interface, just to consider the uh, neural region. So you can see the results in this study, and uh, the surface is not very smooth. But after we consider about this, you can see it become very smooth, and this result is very similar with uh, the result in the uh, jet flow and the mixing layer. So for study the turbulent, low turbulent uh, flow uh, statistics separately, uh, the local uh, coordinate system YI is built here. The orange point is on the in rotation boundary. And the normal direction is calculated by the installer of a gradient. So by this uh, local coordinate, the statistic can be calculated for the turbulent and low turbulent side separately. We decided uh, uh, this uh, uh, TNTI layer synchronous. We calculated the uh, vortex fluctuation RMS on the local coordinate system YI. This is the result, and uh, this red dot line is the corresponding um, uh, divert. So uh, we can see that uh, in this region, um, the vortex fluctuation uh, increased, uh, increased the sharply and uh, become flat in the turbulence core. So this region is the turbulent low turbulent interface, and uh, we decided that the cyclic here is uh, around uh, 15 column golf scale. The most of the study uh, for the uh, to determine the cyclic of the TNTI, they use the vortex to determine that. But we choose the vortex fluctuation here is because the vortex is a significant effect by the wall. So this way can avoid the effect of the wall. And uh, we also calculate the um, install of a transport budget. Uh, the viscosity diffusing uh, and the production term is uh, showing this figure. And this is the turbulent low turbulent uh, layer. And we can see that in this region, the viscosity diffusing is larger than the production term. So install is increased by the viscosity diffusing here. And in this region, uh, the install is increased by the production term. With this region is the so-called viscous super layer, and this is the turbulent sub layer. The thing is about them to show here, the viscous superlayers are what go 
uh, eight at the top and sub layer is uh, about uh, 10 eight. So uh, I will talk about the enjoyment here. So for the enjoyment, uh, um, normally there are two ways to uh, take the fluid uh, from the low uh, from the low turbulent region to the turbulent region. The first one is called the nibbling, which is uh, in which the low turbines are acquired for testing by the small scales near the uh, turbine to low turbine interface. Another one is the engulfment. Uh, in the engulfment, the flow, the low turbine flow is directly uh, drawing into the turbine uh, region before acquiring the vortexity, uh, which is uh, um, killed by the uh, large scale EDs. And uh, we will talk about the nibbling here, which is also called local entrapment. Um, this nibbling is the propagation of the in-rotation boundary, which is our test ISO surface. And the propagation velocity can calculate by this equation. This is the PDF results of the propagation velocity. We can see that uh, uh, this velocity is almost uh, uh, plus in this result. That means, uh, the uh, in-rotation boundary is propagated towards the uh, low turbulent region and hardly uh, propagated towards the uh, turbulent region. So we also calculated the budget of the propagation velocity here. And uh, you can see this result, this is a PDF result. This result is the uh, most contribution uh, term, uh, which is uh, viscosity term. And the subdivision of the viscosity term is calculated in uh, those figures. The red line is the viscosity diffusion and the black line is the viscosity dissipation. So from this result, you can see that the propagation velocity is mainly, uh, mainly supported by the viscosity diffusion term. So in here, uh, for study the mass transportation between the turbine and low turbine interface, we consider another coded system uh, like this, which is a bool with in rotation boundary. So in this system, the uh, continuity equation is calculated like this. Here, the third UI is the uh, fluid difference between the, uh, the velocity difference between the fluid velocity and the movement velocity of the rotating boundary. And the mass flux uh, in this equation can be divided uh, into two components, the normal component and uh, the uh, tangential component. Uh, be careful that uh, this uh, Fn normal component, if the Fn is uh, smaller than zero, that means the mass is transported towards the uh, turbulent region. So uh, in here, the joint PDF of the normal component uh, mass flux and the tangential uh, component mass flux is shown here. We can in the viscose super layer, the tangential component is very small and uh, the uh, normal component is almost mass. That means the uh, fluid, the fluid in the viscose super uh, layer is uh, uh, transport toward uh, to the turbulence region. So from this result, we can see that uh, the viscose, uh, the fluid in the viscose super layer is come from the low turbulence region, and in this uh, turbulence sub layer, the tangential uh, component. Uh, become very large and uh, both the uh, plus uh, value and the minus value uh, exist uh, uh, for the normal component. The uh, flux transport or the flux, uh, tr the mass transportation become uh, complicated uh, in this uh, sub layer. So in this layer, uh, it's easy to say that fluid is come from both the low turbulent and the turbulent regions. Okay, so the uh, scala is also calculated in this uh, uh, in this research. This is the 
mean scala, and this is the, the scala dispersion rate. You see that mean scala is rapidly changed within the uh, turbulent, low turbulent interface layer. And uh, the peak of the scala dispersion rate is, is exists uh, here, which is near the interface between the viscose super layer and the turbulent uh, sub layers. That means that strong mixing process occur uh, in this at this location. And uh, if we look at here, in the low turbulent region and the viscose super layer the uh, volume of the scala is very small. And the scala is much larger in the turbulent core region uh, and the turbulent uh, uh, sub-layer. Uh, this invites that uh, the fluid in the, vis uh, the, fluid, uh, in the viscose super-layer come from the uh, turbulent region and uh, it meets the uh, the fluid in the viscose super layer is come from the low turbulent region and it meets the fluid which is coming from the turbulent region in this location. So this joins the mixing process uh, happen here. So this is the conclusion of my uh, research. So at first uh, we uh, perform the, uh, the direct inverse summation. The high resolution turbulent uh, boundary layer DNS code is uh, developed and validated. And uh, we uh, analyze the, the statistic characteristics. Uh, from the uh, result, we can say that it's very important to consider the resolution at the turbulent low turbulent interface compared to the classical turbulent DNS. And the Turbulent layer synclase is about uh, 5 eta. Viscose super layer about 4 eta, and the turbulent sub layer is about 10 eta. For the instrument and the scalar mixing process, the local instrument is mainly contributed by the viscose diffusion. And in the viscose super layer, the fluids come uh, from the low turbulent region, and in the turbulent sub layer, the fluids come from both the turbulent and the low turbulent regions. For the scalar mixing process, the strong mixing process occurs near the interface of viscose superlayer and the turbulent sublayer. Okay, that's all. <laughs>